How does one write code while avoiding the infinite loop of doom? An infinite loop, also known as a loop of doom, is a common programming error that occurs when a loop continues to run indefinitely, causing the program to crash or become unresponsive. This can occur when the loop's exit condition is never met, or when the exit condition is not properly implemented. Writing code that avoids infinite loops is crucial for creating stable and reliable programs. The first step in avoiding infinite loops is to properly plan out the logic of your code before you begin writing it. This should include identifying the specific tasks that the loop is meant to accomplish and determining the appropriate exit condition for the loop. For example, if you are writing a loop that is meant to iterate through a list of items, the exit condition for the loop should be when the end of the list is reached. Once you have a clear understanding of the logic and exit condition for your loop, you should test the loop with sample data to ensure that it works as intended. This can help you identify any errors or bugs in the loop's logic that may cause it to run indefinitely. When writing the code, it is important to use proper conditional statements and logical operators. A common mistake that can lead to infinite loops is using the assignment operator, smiley face, instead of the comparison operator, equals equals, in conditional statements. This can cause the loop to always evaluate as true, even if the exit condition has been met. Another important step is to keep track of the loop's iteration count and to include a check for an excessive iteration count within the loop. This can help to prevent infinite loops caused by unexpected conditions, such as when the exit condition is never met due to a bug in the code. In addition, it is important to use proper error handling techniques in your code. This includes using try-catch blocks to handle exceptions and using the appropriate error codes to indicate when an error has occurred. This can help to prevent infinite loops caused by unexpected conditions, such as when an exception is thrown, and the loop continues to run indefinitely. Debugging tools like breakpoints and watches can also be used to help identify and fix infinite loops. Breakpoints allow you to pause the execution of the program at a specific point and examine the state of the program's variables and memory. Watches allow you to monitor the values of specific variables as the program runs. These tools can be very useful in identifying the cause of infinite loops and in determining the appropriate solution. Another approach to avoid infinite loops is to use functional programming patterns, which relies on the use of functions that are pure, i.e., they don't have side effects. This can help to make the code more predictable, and it will be easier to understand the flow of the program and the conditions that lead to an infinite loop. In conclusion, infinite loops can cause a wide range of problems for a program, so it is important to take steps to avoid them. Proper planning, testing, and error handling are key to preventing infinite loops. Using debugging tools and functional programming patterns can also help identify and fix infinite loops. With these steps, you can ensure that your code runs smoothly and without any unexpected issues.